Let's take a beaver coat and turn it into four beaver pillows. The front of the coat has a very nice chevron design which extends to the back. First thing, we inspect and deconstruct the coat. We're going to look for any holes, mars, something that we might have to take and uh, repair. Taking the lining off all the way around the coat and then we're going to remove the zipper. That takes a while because it's reinforced in multiple places. fur is in very very good condition and here I am I'm removing some of the trim that was around the collar and removing any batting that was there prior removing the first sleeve and taking careful care not to actually cut into the chevron design opening up the sleeve and removing the cuff. Now we're on the second sleeve. Again, taking care not to cut into the chevron design. Remove the cuff. Cut it right down the center. Now we're going to be removing the actual chevron design that's there, cutting both sides of the uh, design. I'm going to be incorporating those designs into the new pillows. Once the fur is all deconstructed, we comb it out, picking up any loose hairs or fur. And then I'm going to spray it with just some water and I'm going to take a clean cloth and I'm going to rub it and just gently remove any of the surface dirt because we're not doing a deep cleaning, just, uh, just the surface dirt. I'm going to turn it over and also spritz the pelt to help soften it up a little bit. I'm going to close it on itself and let it rest for about 15 minutes. Here is the sheared beaver fur, which is so pretty and it's so soft. Cleaning up the collar area. Also giving it a spritz, clean it off, clean the back, and put it aside to rest. Again, the same procedure with the sleeves. Give it a little spritz and then a light cleaning. After they were all cleaned and laid out, I hung them up to dry just a little bit. 
Now I'm working on the chevron design or the sheared beaver pelt. And I'm going to uh, measure it out so it is the right size of the pillow. And because I don't have enough to make one long line, I'm going to be attaching it. So putting on the clips, tucking in the fur, making sure that it is in one piece. Here, doing the same thing with the pocket area, clipping it, and then I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and I am going to sew the pelt and make the repair. Next phase, let's construct the pillow. Okay, here I am at the sewing machine. I picked an appropriate stitch that best suits this particular kind of sewing. And it's a blanket stitch, and I'm going to be stitching all along the edge, and I'm going to use, this is called a second finger, and I'm going to be pressing the uh, leather down, or the pelt down, while I'm sewing. Being very careful not to get that metal under the needle. But I'm also checking to make sure that the fur is still tucked inside the, uh, the pelt itself as I move along the bottom. Yes, it takes some time, and yes, you have to be careful. It's also important to be using the right size needle for the job. Here's the repaired part of the pelt, and it's hardly even noticeable. Now we're going to be constructing the pillow. We're going to take the striped design, that is the she sheared beaver pelt, and we're going to clip them all together on both sides. Once this is all clipped, I'm going to bring it back to my sewing machine and I'm going to be using the same stitch design as I did previously. Here are the pieces completed. Comb it out and then trim it. This is the lightweight fusible interfacing that I used for the inside of the lining. I used the original lining from the coat, I installed a zipper, and I put a light cotton on the backing. And I'm going to be sewing all the way around from corner to corner, and I'm going to use my tacking stitch, and then I'm going to do a straight stitch. And this is what the pillow looks like when it's completed. This is the smaller version. There's two, there's the large and the small. When putting the pillow form in, you want to make sure that the pillow reaches the corners, um, especially when you've just made the pillowcase itself. Sometimes uh, it needs to be poked a little bit to get it into the right position. Zip it up. And I like to push the pillow down to move all the stuffing around. And here's what the pillow looks like when it is completed. Yep, don't forget, you gotta comb the fur. And here we go. From a jacket to four beautiful pillows. Enjoy the process. Take care, and I'll see you next time.